back for much more of this and taking the race to its conclusion. Right now, we're going to the World Cup Bodybuilding Championship. Our commentator, Diana Nyad. This is Jim McKay reporting live again from the Atlanta 500. We've had an incident involving car number 71 driven by Dave Marcus, and that, in fact, is the car in which we have had a live camera place today. There are the standings in the race. First of all, Marcus appears so far to be okay. Harry Gant, the leader, then Cale Yarbrough, Jody Reed Ridley, and Dale Earnhardt. You saw there is car number 71. He hit the end of the pit wall after spinning. When he walked to the ambulance, uh, Dave Marcus said to someone there, it's his own quote, that his ribs hurt him, and that's all. Here's the shot from inside the car, Jackie. And here you see him. He's in turn four at this point as we are following the action of David Marcus driving this car. Look at the car in front spinning. That's the car belonging to Tim Richmond. Look right. at the hand movement there of Dave Marcus trying to get out of the way. He's in the smoke now. He can't see correctly. Now the car's gone down the hill, down the bank, in 24 degrees of bank. He's trying to correct it. The car is now going sideways at this point, and the car is sliding all the way up the hill. There seems to be a freeze frame and a picture right now. We take this action over as we see it from our camera position high in the grandstand and look at the impact here as it hits great rubber tires protecting the end of the pit wall richmond car, up against the wall yep. richmond up against the wall car number 99 the car of dave marcus goes upside down remember these are over 3,000 pound vehicles that you're seeing tossing themselves in the air here as if they were just lightweight toys the wall is missed there just missed by tim richmond the car stays upright and look at the size of that great earth mover tire where it was moved right out a position by the vehicle of Dave Marcus. Dave Marcus seems to be okay. The action that he was obviously taking was to avoid the spinning car of Tim Richmond, the 99 car. He did walk to the ambulance. Dave Marcus, I'm sure, is in good condition. Just another great demonstration of how safely these cars are built. Let's have another look at this, Jackie. Now, remember, we're looking from a live television camera through the windshield of car number 71 just before Tim Richmond up in front, as you will see, begins to spin in car number 99. Richmond, who was rookie of the year at Indianapolis, there he goes. And he started to spin. It looks like he might have hit oil or oil went onto his rear wheels because it wasn't in a regular place for him to spin. Very difficult to put a hit a bump or anything else. Look at the work being done here by Dave Marcus, really working the steering wheel. The car is now, as they call it, an opposite lock, and there we lose our picture because obviously tremendous amount of action inside that car. So therefore, he really did get himself out of that problem and then suddenly he hit the end of the pit wall here coming out of turn four so a very lucky escape jim for our driver no question and one of the most remarkable camera shots we've seen in a while i don't ever remember before actually seeing what a driver sees when suddenly he is in trouble well that's our latest report live from the atlanta 500 much more to come here again now back to the bodybuilding and diana nyad